Uh, let's move it on to Kansas City. Uh, let's see the uh, let's see. Bavada has met ten and a half wins Kansas mm. City this year. They did lose some pieces on defense, but they also have a new defensive coordinator, Spagnola, who um, you know famously uh, coached uh, the Giants' defensive line to that Super Bowl upset of the Patriots in the seventeen and one season. Okay, yeah. Well, I would have to go over, man, because I think they're fantastic. You know, I mean, I, if, if I had to go one way or the other, I would bet on them actually, you know, squeaking those one or two games out as opposed to losing them. Yeah, you got Mahomes. Uh, you yeah. know, I, I watched preseason. Look, I, for a team like Kansas City, I don't put a lot of stock into it. Usually I'm watching ones versus ones, see if the, you know, the offensive and defensive lines are getting good push on, against each other. But Mahomes, we saw what he could do. Is he going to get 50 touchdown passes again? I would say no, just because nobody's ever done yeah, it two years right. in a row. I'm with you. But, I'm you know, you, but he, I think he'll get more than 40. Awesome. I think he'll get more than 40. I think he'll run for yeah. you. Know? Yeah, he, you know, I, I feel yeah, that's likely. It's very likely that he gets yeah. 40 and above. Yep. Um, I'm over two. I think it's hard to believe this Kansas City team finishing 10 and six. I think it's 11 and five or higher. More likely 12 and four, 13 and three. Uh, Andy Reid's a great coach. Um, Mahomes blew everybody away, including you and me in the podcast last year. I mean, he's just amazing. Uh, but here's the thing about the uh, this Kansas City offense. They can run the ball. I still think Damian Williams is better than uh, his average draft position in fantasy sports right now. I think Damian Williams, um, you know, there, there's a lot of talk about committee, about Carlos Hyde coming in, about the youngsters coming in and, and playing different roles. Look, you know, I, I think Damian Williams is going to get the lion's share of the snaps. Yeah, he'll he might come off the field, but hey, so did Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt gave some snaps away to like Spencer Ware and, you know, guys like that, Chikandrick West or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I think Williams will come off the field, but he's he can run, he can catch. Um, Carlos Hyde looked fine, but this again, this team can move the ball. Um, at receiver, Tyreek Hill, everybody knows about him. He has now moved to number one on my board. In my proprietary analytics, I, I don't really publish the competitive advantage score just because a lot of people, really it's polarizing, so a lot of people actually give me more negative comments on my analytics. So that's why I don't you know publish the, those types of things. But basically, long story short, everybody, Tyreek Hill is the number one player on my competitive advantage board by like, a factor he's he's so far and away above everybody else he's that great. that like the next the next best person might be Saquon Barkley mm. and um like at like at like a 4 and um um, Hill, Hill is like in a 19. So that just gives you, a, he's like 500% better than the second place guy. Now that's not sure. to say he's number one overall on my board. I wouldn't draft him number one overall on my board. If you look at the average draft position, I think a good place to take him is somewhere in the second round. But I love Hill. But here's the interesting thing, Brad. So I know you don't watch a ton of preseason or any preseason. And uh, I don't blame you for that, by the way, because it can be brutal. Thank but you. Kansas City this year has drafted a guy, uh, McCole Hardman. Um, basically, he's a clone of Tyreek Hill. He's fast. Mm. He's already returning kicks in preseason. And he, in my opinion, is going to overtake Sammy Watkins for that wide receiver two role this year. There are going to be packages this year. Well, they have Tyreek Hill, who everybody says is like could be the fastest player in the NFL. Well, Hardman might be faster. And they can have him on the other side. He's already starting to rack up like stats in the preseason against the twos and everything. They're going to have those two at the field at the same time to go with Mahomes, to go with Williams, to go with Hyde, right, to go right, with Kelsey. Right. You can't stop. find all these guys, man? All these just fast athletes. Oh, my gosh. I, just flock to Kansas City. What is that? I know, man. And I feel like, you know, with, with the offseason drama with Hill, I think Kansas City is like, look, we need some insurance here. We need a guy that can fit this mold. And now they have basically Tyreek Hill insurance. So if, if he comes out, if he has more issues and Kansas City needs to cut ties with him like they did with Hunt last year, they can do that and not be up a creek. Um, I like it, man. I like everybody on this team. I do. Uh, if you're in a dynasty league, I think Hardman is my favorite receiver. If you're um, in a keeper league, like a deep keeper league, you know, snap him up. Um, Hill, like I said, I think you know he has wide receiver. He has number one overall type talent, but you're going to be able to get him in round two this year. I like Williams. You know, he's going in the fourth and fifth round. Um, I think he's like a third rounder all day, in my opinion. Um, so, like, you know, I had a, one of my readers um, email me saying, hey, you know, what do you think if I end up with Hill and Williams on the team? What, you know, how do you feel about that? I'm like, look, you know, I like to diversify. But, you know, if you look at that greatest show on turf years ago, if you had Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk on the same team, you're going to the fantasy championship. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, right. I mean, you know, maybe you run up against a good defense and they don't put up crazy points. But this is a team last year, Brad, that in the AFC championship game was shut out in the first half. And they still put up points on the Patriots. The Patriots in the second right, half, you know, right, they're right. gonna they're gonna get theirs. Um, so you can get, you know, surround your team with with Chiefs for a like here. You know, I'm not usually the one to say that, but 
man. They're going to get it, man. They're, they're, you know what? And it's funny when you say uh, we talk about the Rams' greatest show on turf. It, it's it's going to remind me of that, I feel. Yeah. You know? 50 it, touchdowns, it and is. they got a lot of rushing touchdowns, man. They're freaking good. They're just good. Really, yeah, they're fun really to watch. good. Really explosive at any moment, man. Yep. 